Hunting Pen Journey. Um, I'm going to talk today about pastel colours. As you may or may not know, I have got a bit of a thing for German pen manufacturers. I like German uh, fountain pens, and I have a real thing for Lamy. Um, Lamy pens are excellent, for me, anyway. Um, and we're going to talk about the 2019 Special Edition pens. And here they are. They've been around for a few weeks now. Um, these are the Lamy Safari... 2019 special editions. So they're only available for this year. Um, pastel fountain pens. And the top one here, this green is called mint glaze. This bluish green is called blue macaron, which is quite an apt colour. I, I think it is the same colour as the uh, confectionery macaron biscuits or whatever they are. And down here we have the powder rose colour which is a little bit of a pale colour um, it's not a very strong rose but it's a nice old rose um, so these are the three pens that Lamy, the, the, the Safari pens that Lamy have released as special editions for 2019 all pastel colours now I don't know what happened in the two German major German pen manufacturer uh, mass producers in 2018 or 2019 when they devised their plans because Caveco, another manufacturer of a very similar type of high quality but inexpensive fountain pens thought let's release our Caveco Sport plastic pens and a new series of colours for 2019 as special editions and let's go with pastels and they created this range here. So what we've got from Caveco for 2019 is the Caveco Frosted Sport. And this one is called Light Blueberry. A yellow one called Sweet Banana. A pink one called Blush Pitaya. A white or if you like translucent one called natural coconut a green pale green one which is quite a nice green called fine lime which to be honest is bordering on the colour that you might expect chocolate limes to be the sweets and then finally so soft mandarin now I personally I was a little bit disappointed with Soft Mandarin when it arrived because I was expecting from the retailers' websites a more paler orange, but orange pen. And what turned up was more of a salmon pink or a shrimp pink. Um, not to say I don't like it, I really do like it, but that's the range that Quebeco produced in their pastel colours for this year. A little bit more vibrant than... Um, than Lamy's pastel colours for 2019. And I think that these, to be honest, they look like a 50s fairground. Really, really great. 50s seaside fairground. Really lovely colours. And when you compare those with the Lamy pastel colours, to be honest, I think that Caveco has actually won this little race. The Lamy colours are nice, but the Caveco, I don't know, just a little bit more, more colourful but without being too uh, too garish. But I must admit, the Lamy colours are nice. I'm, the Powder Rose, not really my sort of thing, but I had to get it because it's special edition. Once it's gone, it's gone. Um, I like Blue Macaron. This is a very nice uh, pale sea... Well, no, not sea green, but it's, it's, it's a nice blue colour. And I also very much like the Mint Glaze um, colour of this one, the Lamy Safari, mainly because it's the colour that Cunard used to paint their hulls of their cruise ships or ocean liners in their cruising area in the mid uh, mid to late 20th century, and I've got a bit of a thing for that, so yeah, green goddess hull colour. Um, if you don't know what I'm on about, just Google green goddess Cunard and you'll see what I mean. So there we go, that's that colour. We'll talk about the Lamy Safari first, so let's get everything out of the way. 
These pens come in, you know, plain Lamy boxes, cardboard boxes with a Lamy blue cartridge. Uh, they're proprietary cartridges, so, you know, it's not just going to take anything. But you can get converters for these, Z28, I believe it is. This cardboard space is stops you screwing the, um, the barrel on and puncturing the cartridge while it's in transit, so that's why that's there. So we'll do a little writing sample with the powder rose. Um, just to point out that the finial of these pens is the same colour as the actual pen body, so no black inserts on these. Same coloured section, triangular grip, and this is the Lamy Safari 2019 Special Edition. And this one is the Powder Rose version. And this has a broad nib. Now, this nib, I would say 1 in 10 Lamy Safaris or Lamy All Stars or any of the Lamy pens basically, 1 in 10 of these lower cost pens tend to have a few quality control issues. Yes, they're all tested when they come out of the factory, which is why you get a little bit of blue ink in the, uh, in the nibs when they're new. Um, and I had to do a little bit of work on this because it wasn't laying down very much ink at all. Um, not for my liking for a broad pen. Uh, let's do a quick writing sample. Yay, nice and wet. That's what this pen needed, well, the nib needed. Um, this ink, incidentally, is from the German manufacturer online. So it's not online ink, it's online. <laughs> That's the name of the company. And this is Online Rose. Now, this is a scented ink, which doesn't surprise you actually smells of roses um, you really have to smell the nib um, to get any indication that there is any scent you'd never really notice it otherwise I mean even when even when you've laid down a lot of ink like I've just done there I mean you can barely smell it it's um, it's really quite indistinct but it's a it's quite a nice pink it's certainly a not, lot nicer now I've made this nib um, a lot broader, and, well not broader, but I've made it a lot wetter, I had to floss the tines, do a tiny bit of nib smoothing, and now, yeah, lovely, excellent wet, broad nib now. So, what we shall do is look at the Caveco Frosted Sport, which comes in similar, rather ordinary cardboard packaging. Now these all come with a blue ink cartridge, it's all... all Caveco's pens come with these now. Standard International, so standard international short cartridges fit inside, not that way, <laughs> fit inside, that's in backwards, that's why, uh, fit inside these pens rather than the Lamy Safari, which takes proprietary cartridges and proprietary Lamy converters. You can get converters for the Sport, Caveco Sport pens. But they're fiddly, they don't hold a lot of ink, they're messy, and it's easier to use cartridges, refill, reuse the cartridges, or you can also eyedropper them. Now these pens are very easy to eyedropper. Now this is the coconut, um, natural coconut version. Now you can see I've inserted the blue ink cartridge into this. If you wanted to eyedropper this pen, really straightforward, just get some silicone uh, grease, on your finger or an applicator, just smear it round the threads on the section there. Get an eyedropper or an ink syringe. Let's pop that down. Fill this about two thirds full. Uh, fill the barrel two thirds full. Don't go anywhere near the threads. Keep it below the threads. And 
simply screw it on and you have got an eyedropper converted ugh, bang the tripod eyedropper converted fountain pen that holds a vast amount of ink and it's going to keep writing for a very very long time so that's what you do now these um Gaveco um sports frosted sport pens really nice little pens pocket pens silver finial nothing on the back pocket pen compare that to the put the Lamy Safari at the top move this up a bit there we go so big difference pocket pen you can get clips for these they just slide on um, from Caveco I personally don't like the clips I find them get in the way a little bit um, and these pens don't roll anyway because they've got facets around the uh, the cap but when you post this I mean you can write with these pens on post it is, it is possible if you just need to take a quick note but if you're writing for long periods push to post and let's compare these two sizes now so Gaveco sport pens frosted sport in this case exactly larger posted than the unposted Lamy Safari which is how I write with the Lamy Safari anyway so very similar in length lightweight pens very robust plas plastic this is good quality very good quality plastic I mean all of the Lamy Safaris they're ABS plastic so it's the same stuff as Lego bricks you know how hard they are um, you sometimes see the uh, sport Caveco plastic sport pens listed as being macrolon now I can't imagine that it, it's not macrolon material but for some reason you do see that occasionally let's just do a writing sample with this so this is the oops start again Caveco Frosted Sport and this one is Natural Coconut this one is a medium nib so Lamy Safari nibs they all um, they're all steel interchangeable so if you get a broad and a fine you can swap them round so if you wanted to buy all three pens for this year and you don't want them all in medium you want a little bit of variety then why not get fine medium and broad and then if you just happen to want to pull the nib off insert it into a different Lamy Safari you can do that so you've got that option the Caveco uh, nibs there also available but not quite as straightforward um, easy enough no issues there I've never had any issues with the Caveco nib they all write perfectly for me out of the box um, I think the quality control or manufacturing maybe is much better with Caveco pens they uh, they really really do a good job on their stuff on their um, on the quality of their pens so Consistent, very good quality writer. Um, never any hard starts with these pens, either of them, to be honest. they You can leave them for a, several weeks, if you like, and they're going to write well. Um, the feed always keeps up with the ink flow. Never any ink starvation issues. Really, really good quality. Um, the ink, if you really wanted to uh, to know it is most likely to be Caveco blue because that's what Caveco supply inside the pens from the factory um, we'll talk about the nib sizes as well on both of these pens um, the Lamy Safaris all of these are available let's move this down so it's back with the relevant writing sample Lamy Safari comes with 
extra fine, fine, medium, broad or left handed nibs. So you've got a right, range of steel nibs there, all of which are, you know, very, very good. The Caveco Sport, I'll just pop all these together so you can have another look at them. Tobacco Sport, uh, Frosted Sport, uh, these are all available with a similar range of nib choices. Extra fine, fine, medium, broad and extra broad. Um, certainly I've found that the fine, medium and broad, they're the nibs that I've bought with these uh, Caveco Sport pens. have all written perfectly well and I've been happy with the line widths on them. So I'm really, really pleased with those. Um, what do you think about the colours? Now, this is where I've got to say it. Caveco have won the Battle of the Pastels this year. Lamy, yeah, nice. I like the colours, yeah, yeah, very nice. But when you compare them with what Caveco's issued you with, yeah, I think Caveco really does win it hands down in both range, depth of colour, you know. There's more variety. There's something there for more people. I mean, you've got your 1950s seaside range of colours there. But if you just wanted a plain old frosted sport, which is translucent, I mean, you can see the um, see the ink cartridge inside there. It's not clear. These are all glossy as well. There's no terracotta, blackboardy sort of matte finish on there. Even though it's called frosted, it's, it's glossy, smooth. So it's not going to make your teeth all fall out when you're holding it. Um, so I think, yeah, these colours, yeah, they, they, they work for me. This is uh, light blueberry, sweet banana, the yellow one, um, blush pitaya, the pink one, the fine lime, which in this video appears to be showing up a much brighter green than it actually is. It is more of a... Uh, chocolate lime, you remember the sweets? Chocolate lime sort of colour, nice fruity colour. Soft mandarin, which is, mm, I'd have said more of a shrimp pink, pasta, uh, uh, salmon pink rather than a mandarin orange, which is a little bit disappointing, but still a nice colour. And of course the translucent milky white natural coconut. So, good range of colours. Both the Lamy Safari and the Caveco Sport, very, very nice pens. I'm happy with all of them, and I hope that you found this video interesting, because we've got a whole range of pastel colours in two major German pen manufacturers' uh, colour ranges for 2019, so they're only going to be around for this year and probably a bit into next year when they'll start running out. Um, so... If you're interested in them, get them this year, because they're probably, I mean, the, all, all of the Lamy Safari Special Edition colours, they, they all end up being quite collectible, and I mean, they, you know, pretty much give it two years, and these have doubled in price, um, because people want to get hold of them as the new people come into the hobby or start collecting these pens, and they suddenly go, oh yeah, I really want the Powder Rose version, but ah, it's 2019, and it's now 2022, but I don't mind paying, I don't know, whatever for <laughs> for one of these pens because it's a special edition. They're not limited editions, but you know, bearing in mind that these pens will not be around forever. So I hope you found this um, this video interesting and useful. A little review and comparison between the um, Lamy Safari and the Quebeco Frosted Sport. So thank you very much for watching. See you soon. Bye.